It has been quite a while since I've done a vlog. Uh, obviously the last vlog I did was with the Drift event. I don't know how long this video will be, but if you're here to watch it, then thank you for watching. Uh, anyways, uh, today I'm gonna be fixing an issue that I had for quite a while and it probably affected my tune. So as you know from my previous tune, I did have a vacuum leak in my coupler. Yes, I found out the name of, of what I needed. So I not only discovered what the name of the coupler, but I also discovered that I had a little teeny tiny hole inside the coupler, which gave me a vacuum leak. Now in that case, I ordered a coupler for it. Um, it's pretty good quality. I hope you guys can see that. I don't know if you can tell, but anyways, it's good quality and I ordered it from Mo Super. I told you Mo Super can order you anything. I'll link his Instagram down below and his website. Anyways, with that being said, I will show you guys what a vacuum leak, vacuum leak looks like. Wow, okay. So I will show you how it idles and I'll show you how it sounds like. Hopefully the camera will pick it up. But in that case, uh, I would explain if it doesn't show or you can't hear it or whatever. Anyways, I am probably won't be able to catch it, uh, of course, when I'm recording. It's still a bit cool outside, so it's not gonna, it's gonna take a while for it to warm up. Um, let's give it a try. So that's where it's supposed to be idling at. Anyways, so I'll just explain to you what it feels like to have a vacuum leak. Now you, you'll feel like a shaking kind of feeling on your car when you're sitting at an idle. You can hear the car as if you had a misfire, which it'll like sound like it's gonna die out and it's, sound, I don't know. It sounds like it's gonna die out, but at the same time, I mean, the car's looking to run. Um, but yeah, anyways, it will sound like a misfire and then you're, you, can, you can hear it or you can see it as the RPMs bounce something down. So, in that case, we're gonna get that fixed, um, hopefully. And also, I'd like to mention, if you do have some sort of leak, even an exhaust leak or a vacuum leak, uh, it will mess with the tune. So obviously, dyno tuning my TC on the 85, I, I probably could have pushed a little bit more horsepower, but I had that vacuum leak. So, I guess later in the future, if I ever tune it again, hopefully I'll get more numbers, but in that case, uh, that's probably not gonna happen. So if I fix this vacuum leak, then later in the future, if I wanna tune the car again, I'll obviously get more horsepower, more numbers, whatever. Anyways, like I said before, if you guys didn't see my previous tune, uh, you would know what I'm talking. You would know what I'm talking about. But in that case, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. So we're gonna be uninstalling this coupler like we did last time. Uh, I, I believe these are a 13 for these uh, zip ties right here. So I'm gonna be taking these two off and that's basically it. And then the hole that I was talking about was in the back right here. It's a little teeny tiny hole, but those little teeny tiny holes can make a huge difference and can really affect your car. And also I got little leaks coming out through the edges right here, which are kind of little cracks. So that's why I wanted to replace this also because this is going out. It's been long overdue, but uh, yeah, let's get this replaced. So I over-exaggerated the size and I, this is actually an eight socket. I can't tell you how many times I've taken this off. I'm trying to figure out this leak. I think it's been about two years since I had this air intake. And I've kind of, honestly, it just made it into like a custom air intake. I bought a Spectra air filter and then I'm using an engine technology coupler that attaches the air intake to the throttle body. So all that's really left is this coupler and it's, I guess you consider it as my own built air intake or cold air intake. I don't know how you call it, but yeah. Besides the tubing, uh, I still can't figure out the name of this brand, but in that case, I basically built my own cold air intake. So yeah, there's the old one, and here's the new one. Now, there is a height difference. 
Hopefully that shouldn't be. Oh, actually, now that I look at it, there's not really a, much of a height difference. But yeah. Anyways, so I went by two inch on the top, and then three inch on the bottom as a, for a diameter, um, which should be what this is. So actually, should go like that. So yeah. Oh yeah, there's a the height difference. I was talking to Mo Super, and I was like, look. I need a specific size for the coupler. Uh, I'm pretty sure he had more sizes, um, but if you're looking for a coupler, and like I said, actually, if you're looking for an aftermarket part, go to him, please. He's helped me out in previous times, and I'm trying to help him out, get him some more uh, people to order parts from him, whatever, I don't know how to say it, but yeah, get some more uh, clientele. Anyways, well, with that being said, let's fix this thing, and hopefully it'll run a lot more better. So I actually finally got it. Uh, it took me some WD-40 and two pairs of screwdrivers, flatheads. Uh, but yeah, I finally got it. Uh, I'm gonna wipe it down, clean all the WD-40 inside, and then we're gonna install this thing, see how it runs. I had to stretch it like hell a lot. I think this was, my, my, this, this tubing might have been two and a half inches, and this was a two inch. But, I mean, I got it in, hopefully it doesn't rip. Um, but in that case, let's clean this thing up and then we'll reinstall it back on the car. So right there, this is a bit of a crack. I can't go in, I can't put the camera even closer because it's how blurry it'll get. But yeah, the crack is literally right there where that little indention is at. And I might have found another one, but I'm not sure. Anyways, this thing is replaced. This one is installed. This is a lot more better call. I do not know the brand of it. Like I said, I just ordered it through Mo Supra. And man, looks, hopefully it should be good. I'm gonna be driving around, running some errands, and then I'll come back home, end the vlog, and let you know how it goes. Uh, but in that case, this is all installed and should be ready to go. Uh, I did end up taking the air filter so I can take out this tube in order to install this because this was a pain. Never have I ever had that much trouble installing a coupler. Anyways, but yeah, this hopefully should last me till, till this car dies, I guess. Anyways, um, but yeah, it seems to be pretty good, good quality. The same, Like I said, this quality is the same thing that I have on that end which is the engine technology i don't know if you guys seen the engine technology couplers they're actually really good quality and if i were to get a new cold air intake it'd probably do be through engine technology or k and n that's basically my built cold air intake so uh, and it's working out pretty good besides that little issue that i have with the coupler um, but in that case i'm going to be running some errands driving the car around come back home let you know how it goes and i'll end the video from there but so i'll be back i literally just got home it's dark outside um but yeah like i said i've been running the car all day but and i haven't ran into like any issues with it idling under 500 um so in that case it worked out well i don't know how long this video will be but i hope you guys enjoyed it at least uh quite a little update of where i'm at and da -da -da, whatever anyways thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time